living on this farm has made me a lot healthier because I'm just remembering like a year ago when I wanted to come up to the olive grove I used to drive I mean can you believe that I used to drive the 50 meters 100 meters down the road now I walk no problem so definitely a lot healthier with this kind of lifestyle come here hmm what are you doing here miss Yeah. And you can change in Across between. There, but on the outside to match to your uh, cordwood, you're probably going to have to do a section of cordwood wall in the, in the middle. Can't you? I don't know. Or you leave it out. We might leave it out and leave it like just put the tongue and groove over there yeah. and just leave it. So the windows are recessed back in. Mm. Yeah. Yep. And then there'll room? be tongue and groove going at the top, those two triangles at the top. Yeah. So it'll all match that. Yeah. Matchy, matchy. Beautiful. Definitely, it looks, it looks like a stained glass window with um, the different colour bottles. I like that. And the different shapes as well. Yeah. We got time on our side. We're in a state of home. Honey, get you on my fire. I want you to know that every time. Good. So we're stuffing Cindy's, what are they, apple and? Apple and cinnamon muffins. The big problem with them. There's not enough. Oh, there's another lot in the, another 12 in the, in the oven. <laughs>
licking your lips. Hmm? The building inspector has arrived to check on Nick's work. And she's really concerned that he's already needing another cup of tea. <laughs> oh my goodness. You hear that, Tandy? She's so bored, she just yawned. <laughs> it's so dry here. Oh dear, I'll go and put the kettle on. So this is the Conqueco portable espresso machine. Conquer life begins with coffee. I love that saying. Okay, so let's have a look and see what this Conqueco coffee machine looks like. It comes packed up in this handy thing up oh. right so it's quite it feels really really solid oh my goodness it's much heavier than i thought which is probably a good thing it comes with you can actually sort of change the plugs i think different kinds of plugs oh and it's got a car charger as well so if you are camping you can just plug it into your car charger if you haven't got a power bank that is amazing right and so the plug i just there we go and it gives a little click. Right, I am ready to get going with my coffee machine. Okay, so it comes with a UK plug and a EU one. So you can actually interchange it. If you're camping in the UK um, and you travel to Europe, you can quickly change your plug and put this one on. That is brilliant. I haven't seen something like that. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this Conqueco um, coffee machine works. It's an espresso machine. It does come with after sales service of commitment, a free extra 12 months limited warranty. So let's see. I've got had the battery charged. And I'm about to put it into the machine and to see if I can make a great cup of espresso. Okay, so I fitted the battery in. It just um, fits in there quite easily. Now I'm just going to put the cover back onto the battery. I am quite impressed with the weight of this Conqueto machine I have to say um, it's solid this is not something that is going to break or crack easily at all so you can check the battery level by turning the machine on and off you can see the battery is full to clean it it is self cleaning in the inside you'll only clean the capsule cup and the drinking cup. So this Conqueco espresso machine is actually intended for use in the car. So if you're traveling on a long trip and you need a cup of coffee or an espresso to keep you awake, this is perfect. It can also be used with an AC adapter so you can use it in your household as well. If you've got like a staff kitchen area, well, like a farmhouse, I suppose, off grid like mine, uh, perfect if you've got a hotel or a motel or other residential type of place where you want to have a little easy to use espresso machine. So what you're gonna do is you are going to remove the drinking cup and then you are gonna take off this one and you're going to put in the capsule okay so you're going to put the chamber cap back on and then 
you're going to put the water cup back at the bottom. Then you're going to turn it over. So the next step is to remove this water cap. And I'm going to now fill this with drinking water. Okay, so you now pour in drinking water, but it's got to go only to the maximum level, which is that level there. There we go. And you're going to put this cap back on. So now I've got to just press this button for two seconds. One, two. It makes that beep. And apparently, in 10 minutes' time, it will have uh, pumped the water through the coffee into the cup. So just got to wait 10 minutes. Okay, it's pumped the water through, and you can see when it's ready, it beeps four times and turns green, the little button. Okay, so we're going to now remove the top and here's the coffee in the bottom. Right, so this is the taste test. Very good. Thumbs up. <laughs> Busy putting together a nice uh, pork stew for my volunteers tonight. Don't worry, it's none of my pigs. Okay, we'll just let the stew cook away while I go and feed the pigs. Okay, so this is the stew. I haven't got a colander, so I can't strain the rice. <laughs> but here's the stew. And Martin is ready to tuck in. Hungry. So these are the bottles that we've cut. And some of them have some sediment at the bottom. So I'm going to use an old toothbrush and wash them in um, some soapy water. And then start taping them together to make bottle bricks. Because my next step is to start getting going with the bathroom wall. Cindy's woodshed was a bit untidy and a bit unorganized, shall we say. Disorganized. So, pulled everything out. We've put it all back in in order, so when it comes around to winter, you've got loads of nice timber that you can burn and you haven't got to worry about struggling to find kindling, struggling to find logs. It's all just there in front of you. Yep, and if you're wanting to know, Martin is single and available. <laughs> With a pasty tan. <laughs> Managed to get a bale of straw for um, Coco Pop's house when I start fixing her ass up because her due date is any time from next week. So I deworm my pigs every three, four months, and it's time to do some deworming now. Um, this is a different brand that I'm using um, and so uh, what I've got to do is I've just worked out if it's a hundred and sixty seven grams for one ton of feed then it's going to be no wait I've got it wrong it's one let me see here it is 
yeah, one one point six seven kilos for every ton of feed. So one hundred and sixty seven gram packet is for a hundred grams of feed. So therefore, ten. Uh, 10 kilograms of feed is going to be 16.7 uh, grams. So I've brought my little scale out here. I'm going to measure feed and measure, yeah, 16.7 grams for 10 kilos. I'm going to work out 10 kilos now. Okay, so that's one kilo. So... I must work out how many scoops make up one kilo and work it out from there. So I've worked out two of these scoops make up one kilo of feed. So this is 10 kilos of feed, one full bucket. So I have to now try and weigh out... 167, no, not 167 grams, 16.7 grams of this to mix in here. Phew, it's not going to be easy to mix it, but we're going to give it a go. So this is basically the 16.7 grams of um, the worm premix that I now must add into this. So I've got to try and spread that little bit evenly through that. Not going to be the easiest task. Right, so I've carefully mixed it in and um, this is more or less the amount that they get for dinner and breakfast so um, I'm not giving them all of this at dinner because it's one kilo of feed for a um, hundred kilos of pig and my pigs are I've got a couple that might be heavier than a hundred kilos and I've got others that might just be like I think mellow puff is probably only about 60 kilos so um, it's quite tricky it's much easier. I think uh, when I go to America, I'll definitely bring back that pre-mix one because it's already mixed in with pellets and it's so much easier to administer. This one is a bit of a pain trying to mix it in, but we'll see. Every time the pigs hear my voice, they get excited, but it's not feeding time yet. <laughs> I was just doing this, working this out now, so... I've definitely got for, yeah, tonight and tomorrow morning. <laughs> you don't need to go to the gym. <laughs> right. Just come to Bella Pedra. <laughs> <laughs> Steve is busy putting on, oh, pigs fighting. Steve's busy putting on the roof of the chicken coop. While I was working online today, Martin, the lovely Martin from Kent, his uh, channel is from Kent to Portugal. I'll have a link to, the, uh, to his channel in the description below. He has painted the ceiling and what an amazing job he has done. Un Believable. I just love it. Thank you, Martin. You're welcome. So what Martin has also been doing is he's been um, splitting the logs 
Steve has cut up a whole lot of the logs that we actually um, chopped down earlier in the year and they've just been drying on the land and um, he's cut them into manageable chunks and Martin has split them all so I have got a lot of wood for winter so some of the cord wood has been cut into these discs you are going to have to wait to see what the plan is with these discs it's Juno the hard-working farm dog my gooseberry plant is starting to get little gooseberries so when you're making bottle bricks you also want to try and get the labels off you don't want to leave the labels on how come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Oh, 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 o